Hey, what's going on, beautiful women? Hope all is well. What's going on? All right, I just came through for a little bit. We're gonna have a quick little girly girl talk. And I wanna know, what do you women think? It was brought to my attention from one of the ladies. They actually sent me an email earlier and wanted me to touch on this. She was saying that she has been with her partner for two years. And with them two years, she said she just don't understand and she don't know why every time they become intimate, she has to initiate it with her partner. All right, women, make me understand that. What are your thoughts? Don't forget to go ahead and put a comment below. Email me, call me. Okay, I apologize. I was interrupted. One of my sons came through, wanna talk, mama time, mama time. Okay, I'm back, I'm back, back. Okay, so she wanted me to touch on it and she just don't understand what is it. Every time she will like initiate it with her partner, you know, try to touch on him, try to like, you know, hug him, touch him. And she just didn't understand because she said when they first started dating, he made a comment and said to her, well, you know what? I really don't like to be touched. And so I'm like, I, maybe understand, what is your take ladies? When a man come and tell you that he really do not like to be touched, and this is a heterosexual man, to my knowledge, you know, from what she has told me. And she just don't understand why in the two years they've been together, he have never held her. He have never, they have never cuddled. He have never pursued her in a sexual way far as trying to grope her like in the kitchen. He never tried to hug her from behind, you know, grab her, her bottom area, you know, whatever, whatever. She said he just never have done that. And there's been times in the past she would try to touch him and he would kind of like push her away or only want to be bothered, I guess, when he wanted to. Okay. Guys, I don't care. Give me your input also. Uh, because I know, you know, we're going through so much and so many people, you know, want to be private. Um, do not want to really discuss their, you know, sexuality. And that's fine. No judgment zone here. Each is on. But I just feel whatever a man want or their desire, they should just be honest with the female no need to lead the woman on especially if you're telling that woman that you want to be in an exclusive relationship and in her mind she's thinking you guys are one-on-one -on -one. no third party no you know no secrets no hiding no trying to be sneaky all that kind of stuff and we know that women they want that affection they want to be touched hell caressed and you know, hugged on at night with you know by their partner. And like even if you're at home and you have a movie night, that woman wants to be held. Let's cuddle, let's eat popcorn, let me lay across your lap, let me sit between your legs. It's just some it's just some things we as feminine women we cannot tolerate, and you should not tolerate that. If you are being mistreated and you are not being catered to or you don't feel like you're number one or you have already voiced to that man your likes, your dislikes, what you want, what you prefer, what you would not accept, things you like in your partner, how you want your partner to treat you romantically. If he's not able to cater to you and do what you have asked, then that's fine. That just lets you know as a feminine woman, he is just not the one for you. And that is fine. You enjoy one another. You have great memories. But at this time, it's best to just go ahead and cut your loss with that man. But make sure women that you know 
because you deserve closure and you don't want no misunderstandings. So you make sure that you let that man know, you know what, at this time I feel that our season is up. We tried it. It just did not work. I don't feel that we are a good fit for one another. Maybe maybe the man have outgrown you or you have outgrown that man. And that is fine. No hard feelings. I just do not want to continue to waste my time nor your time. Just communicate. Make sure you and that man, y'all see eye to eye. And that he totally understands what is going on when you decide to walk completely out of his life. Because guess what? You're going to continue to go on and live your life. No hard feelings. Life still goes on. You keep smiling. You keep showing love to other people. You keep your head up high. And guess what? Hey, tomorrow is another day. And hey, when you don't forget, you are a feminist single woman. So you're going to get out of that house. Remember? Uh-huh, uh-huh. You're going to get out of that house. You're going to be conversating with the opposite sex, remember? Okay. And you're going to begin that date night, right? Okay, okay. Talk to me, ladies. Talk to me. Okay. So, I hope this helped you. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, share my video all across all the social media platforms. If this bless you, please go out and be a blessing to other people and of course the month of october is breast cancer awareness women go out take care of yourself take care of your girls your tatas whatever you want to call them make that appointment go out see your doctor get that exam your health comes first all right all right Okay, ladies, until next time, be great, hey, stay blessed, and like always, mm -mm, always take care of you. Mwah.